Great Basin National Park scores a one on the Bortle scale, which is the best you can do if you're looking for a place with little to no light pollution. We're here outside Great Basin National Park in Baker, Nevada at my Airbnb, and we are going to be using some of the telescopes to do some astrophotography and also explore the wonders visually that we have above us. Now, I am here for the Great Basin Astronomy Festival, which occurs every year on a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday during the new moon weekend in September every year. Now, this is the 12th annual Great Basin Astronomy Festival, and so far it has been absolutely incredible to see what type of a show they put on for the general public. They've got everything from solar telescopes for observing. They've got a telescope viewing session at night. They've got some interactive displays that you can do, and also an observer hike that you can go out to the Great Basin Observatory and tour that 27-inch research-grade telescope that they have out there on the top of the mountain. Now, I cannot film this adventure for you as I do need a permit, and I uh, did not know that in time to be able to receive the permit, but that's okay. We're going to be doing some of the other stuff here from the Airbnb property instead of inside the park. Now, they do close the Astronomy Amphitheater inside the park at 11 o'clock for telescope viewing, so the public does have to leave at that time, which I will have all of my equipment set up here at my Airbnb property instead, and I will do pretty much all night imaging tonight. So without Without further ado, let's get started for a full night of astrophotography from this nice Bortle 1 night sky. As my time out here in Great Basin comes to a close, it's important to remember that all astrophotographers get almost no sleep when it's clear. And boy, we've run out the clock a few times this week till sunrise, but it's been absolutely amazing. The skies out here are definitely the darkest I've ever seen. I've been to places like Bryce Canyon. I've been to Montana a few times. I've been to some of the East Coast star parties, and this is definitely the absolute darkest I've ever experienced. It is absolutely stunning even visually with your eyes to see the milky way just roaring through the sky and you could just paint it now because it is so dark out here it was so hard to capture any video at nighttime of the rig so i had to just take a few still photos with the dslr because that's the only way you're going to bring in enough light nothing on video came through 
good enough to be able to show. But that's okay, because we've got plenty of astrophotos to show for the work that was done over the nights of imaging. We did capture six hours on the Ghost Nebula up in Cepheus. It's really close to the Iris Nebula. We captured some wide-field DSLR with Orion and with the Witch's Head Nebula. We also got a sneak peek of M78 before the sun came up, and we did some wide-field work in Aquila in the Milky Way right before it went down for the night. But these skies out here are absolutely breathtaking. If you ever get the chance to go to Great Basin, or even better, get to come out here for the Great Basin Astronomy Festival like I did, I would highly, highly recommend this. As always, thank you so much for joining me. But for now, we're going to get some sleep, drive on home, and then process these images. Clear skies. Clear skies.